Good night. How you going? You know, nobody can uh, deny that Banjo Patterson wasn't one of the greatest bush balladists that Australia ever produced. And this is one of my favourites. It's called The Bush Christmas. And if you'd like to show your appreciation when I've finished, please throw only paper money. <laughs> Coins may inflict injury. <laughs> On the outer bar coup, where the churches are few and the men of religion are scanty. On a track never crossed, except by folk that are lost, one Michael McGee had a shanty. Now this Mike was the dad of a 10-year-old lad, plump, healthy and stoutly conditioned. He was strong as the best, but poor Mike had no rest. For the youngster had never been christened. And his wife used to cry, if the darling should die, St. Peter would not recognise him. But by luck he survived till the preacher arrived, who agreed straight away to baptise him. Now the artful young rogue, as they held their cologue, with his ear to the keyhole was listening. And he muttered in fright, and his features turned white. What the devil and all is this christening? He was none of your dolts. He'd seen them brand colts. <laughs> and it seemed to his small understanding, if the man in the frock makes him one of the flock, it must be something very like brandy. <laughs> so away with a rush he sat off to the bush. And the tears in his eyelids, they glistened. Tis outrageous, said he, to brand youngsters like me. I'll be dashed if I'll stop and be christened. Like a young native dog, he ran into a log. And his father, with language uncivil, never heeding the priest, cried aloud in his haste, Come out and be christened, you devil! But he lay there as snug as a bug in a rug. And his parents in vain might reprove him till his reverence spoke. He was fond of a joke. I have a notion, he said, that'll move him. Poke a stick up the log. Give this sapling a sprog. Poke him easy and don't hurt or maim him. It's not long he'll stand. I've the water at hand. When he rushes out this end, I'll name him. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, and for shame, I've forgotten the name. Oh, is it Patsy or, or Michael or Dennis? As the youngster ran out, the priest gave a shout. Take your chance anyhow with McGinnis. As the howling young cub ran away to the scrub, where he knew that pursuit would be risky, the priest, as he fled, flung a flask at his head, which was labelled McGinnis's Whiskey. <laughs> now McGinnis McGee has been made a JP, and the one thing he hates more than sin is to be asked by the folk who have heard of the joke how he came to be christened McGinnis. <laughs>